All right, we got a therapy wall butterfly stretch. What we're gonna do is just jam your tailbone, your low back, T-spine, the back of your neck, back of the head against the wall. And once we get to that position, we're gonna try to actively push those knees down towards the floor, open up that groin a little bit for about four to five seconds. If you can, move your shoulders up into that good streamline position, which adds just a little bit more of a shoulder stretch. Really think about keeping the shoulder blades, the elbows, the back of the wrist against that wall. Work it back down. We're going to go four rounds, about five seconds stretching at each. Good. Now, when we attack this forward kick position, make sure that the lead leg goes straight ahead like you're kicking down a door. So kick straight ahead, and then the back knee, the trail knee, needs to lift up super high. So we want to go ahead and externally rotate that femur. We want to open the gate. We want to close the gate. Drop into a lateral lunge with a little bit of a forward spin in there. Good. Third portion of our dynamic warm up. We're just going to do a little bit of an inchworm. So try to stretch everything in that posterior chain. Shoot a lead leg up. So establish a good streamlined lunge position. And then, if we're okay with it, we want to go ahead and introduce a little bit of power so that we can go ahead and try to land in a good stretch. So big streamlined position, big vertical jump, land in a stretch, big vertical jump, land in a stretch. All right, we got a little bit of a dynamic stretch. We're gonna elevate that back knee, try to put some extra tension on that back quad, back hip flexor. From this position, try to push those shoelaces at the top of your foot back into the bench as you reach up high into a good streamlined position. Once you accomplish that, if you're okay with it, we're gonna stay up high, maintain a good elongated vertical reach, a gentle streamlined twist to the right, gentle streamlined twist to the left. Try to do about two on each side, alternating that. Whether you go double dumbbell, whether you go single dumbbell, we're still going to work on your paraspinal. So one of the few opportunities we give our athletes to round that back out. Keep your midsection in tight as if you're going to take a punch, and we slowly lower that guy down. Feel each individual vertebrae so that your paraspinals get activation, and then slowly roll you up to the tallest, prettiest posture you can possibly exhibit. Alternating two on each, four total reps about a sternal height anchor point. What we're gonna do with these pair of sport cords or this one sport cord pair of handles, we wanna just activate a little bit of the coracobrachialis. So we're gonna do a bent over row position, just a nice easy curl. Now try to drive those elbows up, elbows up, elbows up, and hopefully it'll open up those shoulders and those lats a little bit. It's a good five second stretch from this bent over row position, streamlined, and we're gonna go ahead and gentle curl. Once we establish a good activation of that, we're gonna to try to lift those elbows up for about five seconds. Four rounds of it. All right, as low as we can hold that squat platform, the lower you go, the more it's gonna pull on that TLF, it's gonna pull that lat down, it's gonna keep you from being able to reach high. You wanna use the same mentality that we do with our therapy wall squat. As you row, retract those shoulder blades. As you externally rotate, keep those shoulder blades externally rotated and then we're going to gently press it up. Avoid coming forward. So you want to develop the musculature that's going to keep that shoulder girdle back. So retract and depress that shoulder girdle as you try to reach up in the bottom of a squat position. This is all acceleration, so attack vertical. I'm out of here.